Welcome to the channel. It depends. Today, I'll be doing an unboxing video of the Yamaha Sonogenic SNS 300WH. I got the white color version, as you can see here, instead of the blue one. Because I think the white one actually looks better. Hopefully, it doesn't turn yellow. And the key actually looks uh, quite well. The Yamaha also have another model called the SNS 500, but that costs close to $400. And based on some review that I saw, that the buttons actually is not so intuitive and there's a lot of uh, design issue with the button being too close. Unlike uh, the button here in the 300, which is why I got it at about $300, close to $300. Without further ado, let's see what's inside the box. Okay, I have to do some editing because uh, it's kind of hard to take off from the box. So as you can see, from the box what I have was the guitar itself. Some strap. It's not really leather. Isn't this like the standard kind of belt kind of material? The back kind of material. It's kind of hard and rough. Not really very good though. Then the uh, USB to the power. The instruction manual itself. Well, I guess that is the instructions and the MIDI. Oh, this book is actually quite thick though. Hmm, let's see. Not so how many pages are that. It's gonna be some quite some time to read. And then if the guitar itself, the white model. Okay, let me turn this around. Let's look at this. This is how the guitar will look like. If I remove this off the wing. Okay, this is how it looks like. I should just flip it around. Okay, and here is the guitar itself. It's a few buttons here. Oh, actually the keyboard feels like the shop piano one. Not the very cheap plastic tiny one. Interesting. There's a speaker grill. Apparently this is the... I'm not sure what this is. Changing the vibrator. Sustain. Logo. If I'm not wrong, there's three of them each, right? They are, then the jam color that you can use the app to actually find it. Maybe I'll do another review of the app if there's some interest in it. And to be honest, the Chords Tracker app by Yamaha was actually very good. Especially with a song they want to find. They actually give you the chords that you can play with the song with. Giving you the keys in piano, chill music, or even in guitar. So it's actually quite good. I'll recommend you check out the app. You can put the link down in the description for Apple or Android user. Find it on the Google Play Store or the Apple Store. Next is this function. There's a lot of functions here that require some of the instruction manuals that I'll maybe show you later. And then the power button. I will not have power up because either you have to use this to charge via USB or plug in via the battery as you can see from behind. This battery here, I think it takes some. Let me see what battery does it need. Need the four alkaline AA size battery as you can see here. Yep, and then zero the number. So on the left side, we have this port here. I think this is the 3.5mm one. Then on the other end, place for you to put the strap, your screen, plus your power. Alright, so let me put in the batteries and see how this looks like. Okay, so you can see from some of the instructions here, some of the buttons I've mentioned previously, the functions as well. Let me check what those functions are in these later pages. Hmm. Yeah, there's like the instruments here as mentioned here. The synthetic, got solid, square lead, synthetic bass, piano, normal piano, electric, organ. And it, just the common, the triangle one have the organ, but the five one don't have even though there's more voice this. Surprising. Guitar, we have the electric, acoustic, electric bass. For others, we have string, synthetic bass, and the dance kit. Not sure whether I'll let you guys hear the song, but let's see how this goes. And there's actually a Bluetooth connection here to connect to the app and the MID operation. Okay, so here as you can see are the settings and the function buttons. Actually, looking about it, there's just quite a lot of stuff you can do with this. This is your pitch, your transpose, changing the octave, touch response, etc. Right then, since I put the battery in, why well, let me just power this up. Let me see, the power button is here. If you know this better than right? Okay, and it light up. Right now, I just need to turn down the volume to the lower button. Shouldn't make any sound, right? Okay, press up. You guys hear? 
Okay, okay. This is the normal one. We try the piano. You can see you can hear a lot of stuff. Kind of loud actually. Let's see how it goes. Mm, this sounds quite decent. Yeah, so maybe you can test out the sound. We got the first one, the synth. Next one is something. Not bad, not bad. Oh, shit, color change from what to tell you the music, I think. Normal piano. Okay, guitar. Oh, they just sound quite good. Hmm. Maybe the bass. Very low. Others. Drum kit. Alright, that's about all for the music here. I think I can change some with the sustain of vibrato. I'm cutting this. Let me check. Maybe the guitar. That's alright. As you can see, this is the Kita, the Yamaha SH300. Currently, I think I'm gonna enjoy myself playing this, learning how to play the piano, and maybe a bit of the guitar part here. Not sure how that works, but yeah. Alright, that's it for me for now. If you guys have any questions, please leave down, down in the comments below. I'll try my best to answer. Alright, until then, see you guys in the next video.